In this video, we will learn how to perform matrix vector and matrix matrix multiplication. We will start with matrix vector multiplication, which can be interpreted in two ways. The first is in terms of the columns of the matrix. Given a matrix whose columns are the vectors C1 through Cn and a vector whose entries are the numbers x1 through xn, the matrix vector product is the linear combination x1 times C1 plus x2 times C2 plus all the way down to xn times Cn. There are two properties of matrix vector multiplication that we can deduce from this interpretation. The first is that in order to compute a matrix vector product A times the vector X, the number of columns of A must be the same as the number of rows of the vector X. And the result of A times X is a vector where the number of coordinates is the same as the number of rows of the matrix A. Let's go through a simple example. Consider the three by three matrix and the three by one vector shown. We compute the product by taking a linear combination of the columns of the matrix with coefficients given by the entries of the vector. And after simplifying, we see the result is, again, a 3 by 1 vector. But there's another interpretation of a matrix vector product coming from the rows of the matrix. Let's look in more detail at the first row of the matrix. The first row of the matrix could be thought of as a vector with three entries. If we look in isolation at the first row of the matrix times the vector, we see that the result is obtained by multiplying corresponding coordinates and adding them up. This operation is also known as the dot product. Given two vectors with the same number of entries, the dot product of the two vectors is obtained by multiplying corresponding entries and adding them up. Notice that when considering the rows of our matrix, the result of our matrix vector product is a series of dot products, one for each entry of our final vector. This gives us a row interpretation of matrix vector multiplication. Consider a matrix whose rows are R1 through Rm times the vector x. The result of this matrix vector product is the vector whose entries are R1 dot product with x, R2 dot product with x, and so on all the way down to Rm dot product with x. Our example from before can be rethought of in this light and of course, we obtain the exact same answer. We will now discuss matrix-matrix multiplication. Matrix-matrix multiplication can be thought of as repeated applications of matrix vector multiplication. Consider the matrix C times the matrix A. If the vectors A1 through AK represent the columns of the matrix A, then the matrix product C times A is the matrix whose columns are C times the vector A1 and C times the vector A2 and all the way down to C times the vector AK. Of course, we can further break this down by imagining that the rows of the matrix C are the vectors R1 through Rm. Now, using the row interpretation of matrix vector multiplication, we see that the result of the matrix C times the matrix A is the matrix whose entries are various dot products of the R vectors and the A vectors. There are some things to note about the dimensions of matrices involved in a matrix product. If C is an M by N matrix and A is an N by K matrix, the matrix product C times A will be an M by K matrix. Note also that in a matrix matrix product, the number of columns of the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. That is, in order for an A by B matrix to be compatible to be multiplied with an X by Y matrix, b must equal x. Let's look at an example. The 2 by 3 matrix times the 3 by 2 matrix shown will result in a 2 by 2 matrix. Let's use the row interpretation of matrix vector multiplication so that we can compute this matrix product entry by entry. The 1 1 entry is obtained as a dot product of the first row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix. The 2, 1 entry is obtained as a dot product of the second row of the first matrix with the first column of the second matrix, and so on. What about this matrix product? The first matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix, and the second matrix is a 3 by 2 matrix. Unfortunately, the number of columns of the first matrix does not equal the number of rows of the second matrix so these two matrices cannot be multiplied. Lastly, let's discuss some notation involved in matrix vector and matrix matrix products. In the world of linear algebra, a dot between symbols is reserved for a dot product, and a cross between symbols is reserved for a cross product. Therefore, when notating a matrix vector or a matrix matrix product, 
we use neither of these symbols and just write the two variables next to each other. So the matrix A times the vector V is written as AV, not as A dot V or as A cross V. And the matrix A times the matrix B is written as AB, not as A dot B or A cross B.